You've heard the predictions. We'll all have electric powered vehicles in our garages eventually, but what about the big garage known as the firehouse? West Michigan firefighters got a look at what may be their future today. The nation's first electric fire engine is making the rounds. News 8 Joe Fergie has a look all new at seven. Now, not only does it not sound like a traditional fire engine in America, it doesn't look like one either. None of our engines turn this fast. See. Grand Rapids Fire Department equipment operator John Keeler is used to muscling a big red diesel belching fire truck through the streets of Grand Rapids. But today was different. This fire engine sounds more like a big red golf cart. I really got in this seat wanting to hate this machine. And unfortunately, I really like it. So far, it's, it's winning me over. We kind of made this all busy. It was show and tell day for what the future of fire engines may be. The Rosenbauer RTX is the first electric powered fire engine produced in the US. Just two batteries. Battery power moves the rig. If it runs out of juice at a scene, a diesel engine kicks in. It's designed to save fuel, curb diesel emissions, and improve conditions for firefighters. We got a complete yes. reduction of noise, which makes it easier for the firefighters to communicate and, and do their jobs. Wyoming, Minnesota-based Rosenbauer America is not just selling the electric idea with the RTX. Its all-wheel drive and its all-wheel steering allows it to turn on a dime. Air shocks and the cab's design make it easier and safer for firefighters to get in and out. We've been able to get that first step off the ground in as little as 10 inches off the ground um, as compared to roughly 24 inches, 22 to 24 inches on a, on a diesel engine. But like any new technology, questions remain. Will the batteries last the average 10 to 15 years a fire engine is in service and other reliability issues? And firefighters are a very traditional group. Will they buy into a rig that looks like it should be sitting on a street in Europe? I, I think a lot of it's education, and, uh, and I think we're doing a good job of, of getting out there and, and getting this in front of firefighters. It's a brand new concept, right? You um, probably so won't see the RTX sitting in a Grand Rapids fire station anytime soon. The city's not buying into the electric fire engine idea just yet. Well, if we're thinking 10 years down the road, this may be where we are, you know, where everything becomes electric at that point. We don't know. But we want to at least get our eye on what uh, is available in the market and make sure that we are responsible when it comes to looking at all of our options uh, for the future. We have a link that will give you more information on the RTX at woodtv.com. In Grand Rapids, Joe Lafergie, News 8.